Hunting gathering societies have division by sex with men doing the hunting, women doing the gathering. It is a subsistence economy. It is nomadic. So they're following the food supply, as I already said. And women are providing 60 to 80% of the food supply, men 20 to 40% of the food supply. So you think if it's about who's producing more for the group that they would have higher uh, power status, but the um, meat is considered more valuable. So that's going to even things out. It is, there's no, there's little inequality. I mean, if you want to look at the whatever gender inequality exists, if you want to conceptualize it that way, whenever there's differences, we talk about it that way. So, um, but there's no surplus because again, it's a sur it's a subsistence economy. So they're, they're not accumulating goods, you know, cause they're moving from place to place. That's the other thing. They're consuming everything as they eat it. Uh, those societies have uh, a low birth rate and low fertility. Uh, so women aren't going to have very many babies in that type of society for a bunch of reasons. And some of them are um, because of the type of diet, the fact that they're nomadic. So they're exercising, um, the, they're nursing, all of these factors are going to inhibit the likelihood of getting pregnant, you know, because of the low body fat and the other factors. Um, but also, but even if they did get pregnant um, more often, it, it, oh, how, how do I want to say that? They, they practice uh, infanticide. And so, and they did that because if there are too many people in this group with the population pressure and it being a subsistence kind of uh, existence, then it would put the entire group at risk. So, let me move on to the next uh, type of society. So, cause we're gonna, we're gonna do like a super macro overview. And the next type of society is uh, hunting gathering so societies, I'm sorry, uh, horticultural societies, uh, pastoral societies. Um, and the tool that was responsible for the um, revolution, the, the horticultural revolution uh, is uh, the digging hoe. So now they actually start cultivating the plants instead of just sort of looking for them and finding them. And then, um, so they're gonna have semi-settled societies, pastoral societies, there's, that's herding of some kind of animal, it could be sheep or something like this. But um, the, the ownership is going to rest with the, it's usually, it's the male. And so we're gonna see that, that whoever owns the means of production is going to have more say. And so that's going to influence the type of society, the type of ideology that evolves in that society or that, that presents itself. And let me just say this about ideology. Every society develops an ideology to explain itself and, and also to justify the... Um, just to, to justify what they see, the, the, its existence, the, the reality that they see. So the next type of society is the um, agricultural society. The tool that's responsible for that revolution is the plow. So now they harness animals. So with agricultural societies, we're going to see seriously settled societies. So this is where we see, you know, we hear about the dawn of civilization. So this is a birth of, of civilization. So all the stuff that you read about and, you know, your ancient civilization, you know, about ancient civilizations, that kind of thing, that this is the time period now that, that we're talking about. So this is where we're going to see serious stratification with okay so now back to the agricultural societies so, so the reason why there is stratification and why they're settled is it, it's sort of obvious with agricultural production is there's tons of food availability surplus and so that's going to allow for feeding of more and more people more and more people on a smaller uh, piece of land so we're going to see 
that there, this is where towns and cities, um, you know, they emerge. And so, you know, villages, town, cities. And so we're going to see this is where we have organized government. We're going to see, um, this is where we see serious patriarchy. Uh, 